Ooh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Highlander here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sun and Moon, episode number 34. In the last episode, guys, we got to Pony Island and uh, with Lily, and we did a little bit of exploring, and we got ourselves our strength Pokemon for our Poke... Poke... What's it called? Poker Page Rider? Poker Rider? I don't remember what it's called. But we got that, and we are now going to move on and explore the rest of Pony Island. So before we go ahead and do anything else today, please make sure that if you're enjoying the series so far, you smash that like button down below because that does help support the channel. Now, you may be wondering why I'm wearing my gloves, why I'm wearing my hat, all this stuff. Well, my heater in my house is broken. Or it's not broken. It's just not working for some reason. And it is cold. So I'm, I'm just bundling up because it is cold. <laughs> um... I will say this though, off screen I did a little a bit of uh, hunting for Pokemon, so I just went back to like Mele Mele Island and I started catching things that I hadn't caught before. Um, just on my own free time, so just in case you guys are like noticing for some reason that I have more Pokemon, and you're like, what the heck? And that's the reason why. <laughs> um, but we did not go into this house, this is the house of her grandma, right? My Hapu was heading for the ruins of hope, wasn't she? Go after her. Um, that's right. Okay. So there's the Mudsdale. There's a Mill Tank. Huh? Well, look at that. The Mill Tank kills you. I did not know that. Pseudo Wudo. Lies. He's onto me. <laughs> the Pseudo Wudo is onto me. Rough ride. Anything else? Uh, there's a Meowth. I'm half expecting there to be a Zygarde cell somewhere in here. Ah, uh, I was right! Not a cell, but a, uh... Whatever the other thing was called. Zygarde core, that's right. Alright, so we are all set up and good to move forward per Sola. You're not a Corsola. You're not a Corsola, Meowth. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you, but... You're not. Alright. So let's see, what else is around here? Besides lots of Machamp, uh, another Zygarde cell! And an item back there that I do want to go grab. Um, I am very frustrated. I, I, I just want to take a minute to talk to you guys about this week because it has been a mess. Um, as you guys might know by now, I did get another job. I'm now working at a piano shop. Um, I move around pianos for people and do all that fun stuff. Um, and essentially, the job requires there to be two people to do it. And so me and my, my not business partner, my, my co-worker work together. But the problem is he's going to school right now. And so he doesn't get, Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, he's not available to start work until 4 o'clock. Which is when we start. Which really sucks, because it throws a wrench in all of our plans that we have here for the channel. Um, and then, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays, or Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we can't start, or we don't start till 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which is shiny stone, uh, which is our, which are the days that we're supposed to be streaming. And we don't get done till like 8, 9 o'clock at night. Um, and then, after that, on Saturdays, we start at 9 in the morning. Literally all the times that I scheduled for our streaming times no longer work. So what I have to do is I have to go in and I have to figure out some way to uh, combine the schedules to make them work for um, not only YouTube but for streaming as well because I do feel bad because um, we haven't been streaming a lot lately and you know me looking for employment has been the reason for that so I apologize if you guys have been frustrated or you're just like what the heck where are all the streams and blah 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 but we will get it figured out soon I promise I promise and when we do we will start our sun lock on Twitch, which will be fun. So, Turtonator shows up. Um, this thing is part dragon, right? Dragon fire. Nico? I want to say Nico might be our best choice of action here. Flamethrower, so we did good there. Nico's going to resist that like a boss. Then we're going to go for that uh, rock slide. Of course we're going to miss. Body slam. Do he, does he get the para, though? No. All right, so be good. Come on. Hit the rock slide, Nico. There we go. It shouldn't be resisted. That's what I thought. Because dragon doesn't resist rock. Last time I checked. Shell smash. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's concerning. Let's go for another rock slide. Oh, we miss. Are you kidding me? Nico! You need to not be missing. Especially when his attack and special attack is boosted. Alright? Come on. Thank you. Alright. Giving me that grin. He's like, I just did it to mess with you. And I'm like... Nico's too much for me. Literally too much for me. Drop up. That's the normal dragon type. Um. I want to stay in, heal up, and then go for a counter. But I feel I feel like that's really dangerous. Um. Oh yeah, we still need to go buy some healing items. I should have done that instead of buy uh, super repels to get back to the area that we were at. <laughs> Ah, oh, lesson learned, lesson learned. Extra sensory. Um, so it's starting to look like maybe he won't be attacking me with a physical type move, which is kind of frustrating. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk the biscuit and go for counter anyway. Dragon Pulse. Ah, oh, man. No! Alright. Alright, my dude. Here we go. Continental Crush. Let's do it. And I can't do this dance! I try! Bah! Bah! <laughs> That's as close as we're getting. Loaded itself with Z power. So my brother's ahead of me in the game now, because I had been ahead of him this whole time until last episode. And so he, he's all coming up to me wanting to talk about stuff, and I'm like, stop, I haven't gotten there yet. Ha! Ka or what, what's his name? That Sean Connery says? Something Mac. I. <laughs> Dang it! I was gonna say a quote, and I don't remember the quote, and now I'm upset. Collector Raymond, do you have a sense for why you seem to, why you seem rare? Do you have a sense for why you seem rare? What? My dude, make more sense, please. So we want to go out this way, um, to Pony Breaker Coast. Um. But we do need Nico back at full health. Uh, we, so I guess we can't go up yet. So we have to go this way. Because this is towards the ruins. Does this, seem, does this area seem like a power spot to you? Power spot? Persona Q? Uh, am I going to find rare items that I can sell? And exploit? That's the only way to get money in that game. Was to uh, get a bunch of passive abilities on your secondary persona to like uh, increase not only the amount of times you could farm a power spot but also the um, rarity of the items so you just keep getting rares and then you can sell it for like a bunch of money <sighs> those canon days my friend I spent a lot of time in that game I still need to play through the second um, the second story because I've only played through the P3 side I need to play through the P4 side, so I can then fight the Velvet Siblings. Which is technically the super boss of the game. Geodude is coming out, and we know for a fact that this is super effective, so we're going to keep going. Oh, sturdy. Why? I feel like Geodude should have lost Sturdy when it became an electric type. That's just my professional opinion, though. <laughs> so I couldn't honestly say, but that's whatever. Pedal Blizzard, let's go. Um, get rid of this Geodude. She has two more Mons. Oh, this is not an electric. This was a regular Geodude. Because this was a... Oh, oh my goodness. This is a Sightseer. This is a Tourist. Vulpix. So this is going to be a regular Vulpix. Meaning that we need to switch to Elise. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating me a little bit. Because I'm like... I really like Elise. But now I'm starting to not like Elise as much. And I'm like, ooh, that's not good. I'm kind of wishing that I would have gotten another water type. But then I feel bad, because I'm like, I raised this thing. I caught it, and I raised it, so I should take care of it. It's a it's a real struggle. It's the real struggle. My my earphone is n or ear cup is not fitting on my ear because of my hat. Real struggles. Graveler, might as well stay in. Um Oh shoot, we probably shouldn't have, because this thing will probably earthquake and one shot at least. We'll see him, though. Maybe it doesn't have sturdy. Cross your fingers. <laughs> of course it does. Of course it does. Get the burn. 
Get the burn though? No, it's gonna go for Stealth Rock. You're really thinking that you're living, Graveler. You think you're living? Because I don't think so, my dude. Uh, my brother was also kind enough to inform me that Scald was this strong in Gen 6 as well. And we get a crit after uh, I'm sitting here talking about how I don't like Elise anymore. She still loves me, and that just makes me sad. <laughs> Showdown's gonna level 49. Uh, another friend, or you guys also let me know that Raichu has his own special Z move, but is it as cool as Catastropeka? That's the question. And if it's not, then I don't think it's worth it. I just like Catastropeka too much. Alright, what's the TM? Frost Breath. I want to look into that really fast. Um. It's at the bottom here. 6890, these are. Always results in a crit. So it's actually base 90? Wait, no. So it's base 90 because of stab. Which then plus crit. Isn't it another half? So 45? For 135? That's base 135. That's not bad. Um... We might actually teach this to Hikari. We have Icy Wind. We might get rid of Icy Wind for Frost Breath. I'm gonna do it. I did it. It's too late! We're past the point of no return. Frost Breath. I mean, if we when we hit it, it's kind of like Rock Slide, right? It's just very, very powerful. Except Rock Slide doesn't always crit. And that'd be broken. <laughs> uh, isn't that a Zygarde Cell over here? I really need to go back and find Cena and uh, what's his face from Kalos to go put together this uh, Zygarde. Because <laughs> I totally missed it. Um, is there something over here? There's no way there's not anything over here. Come on now. That's what I thought. Calcium. All right. So it looks like that's the destination right there are, are the ruins. So let's go catch up with Lily and Hanu, right? Is that her name? This music is about to get real. I'm so ready for this. You guys have no idea how ready I am for this. Alright. Another Zygarde cell. They're, they're starting to show up more frequently. <clears throat> the ruins of hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But but if we go in there, maybe Nebby will return to normal. The people believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. That sounds promising. That's right, it does, Will. I'm going to give all, give it my all so we can return Nebby back to normal. <laughs> so just you wait, Nebby. This time I'm going to be the one who saves you. <sighs> Come on, Will, let's go. Oh, my head is itching. This is what happens when you don't wear a hat at all. And then you decide to wear one one day, and your hair is like, no! And it just starts to itch. I didn't mean to talk to you twice, you oversized horse. All right, let's do this. How long have we been recording? Oh, we got plenty of time, my dudes. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, mouse is in the way. So now we get to see my champ in action. If we're going to break a path, we'll need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? Oh, she can do it. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. No, you can. I believe in you. <laughs> it's heavier than words can even express. We'll have to borrow Machamp's formidable strength for this task. I read about it in a book. If I remember right, it said, When getting a ride from a powerful Machamp, trainers can activate Machamp's shove by standing before a rock and pressing the B button. Breaking the fourth wall. And if we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit of perspective. Meaning that we can reset the room in case we screw up. All right. Let's call Machamp. Machamp! More like Machump! Oh, snap. Are oh, you kidding me? This is how slow it goes? Oh, you, you can't even control? Oh, you can. All right. Wow. This sucks. <laughs> All right, so it looks like this is a pretty simple puzzle. We're just gonna keep pushing it this way. Oh my gosh, why is this so slow? Alright. And then we'll push this over here. Then we'll head back around. 
and push that into the hole. That looks right! Doesn't it? I think it looks right. Bop. And we can get off my champ. Because that's humiliating when he's carrying me around. <laughs> Ooh, there she is. She's kind of bad on me, isn't she? She totally is. She has ground types, so Sakura will be fine. I know that you're the Kahuna. I know it! I've read about them, you know. Alola's sacred ruins and the guardian deities worshipped within them. They go, accord uh, they go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. Oh, look at it! It was really cur uh, like, seeing this, it makes a lot of sense now, obviously, since we're playing through the story of the game, but when me and my brother first looked at the Pokedex, we were like, what is this other Pokemon? And I was thinking that maybe Nebby, the Cosmog, was actually, like, this version was actually for Pokemon Sun, for Solgaleo. Um, turns out I was incorrect. The books say that they are, well, capricious. Encounters with them will do, uh, with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nebby. You can't give up hope. Oh, there's Hapu. She, she gonna battle me. I just noticed that Lily's taller than me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, we need to keep this up here. Yo, is Lily gonna get a Z crystal? Uh, I'm sorry, dudes. Hold on. I gotta take this phone call. No. Wow, guys, I am so sorry, especially during that cutscene. That sucks. Um, I had to take it, though, because my little brother passed out at school today, and my mom wanted to know if he was okay, so... Oh, so the two of you were watching. <clears throat> the Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our, secret, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the islands each guardian watches over. But Lily's totally getting a Z-Crystal! Lily told me that you're pretty new to our parts, huh? Well, yeah, because we're from Kanto. You came to Alola from far off. You must really be something then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our, our shores. My grandfather. My grandfather was also chosen for this honor, the honor of being our island's kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we, left, we were left without a kahuna on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the Tapu back then. So I set out on my own sort of island challenge, traveling Alola and trying to grow stronger. Or maybe she took the Z-Ring. Lily, the Kahuna w you wish to meet is right here. Uh, oh, of course. Then please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Lunala, who... We pay tribute to at the Altar of the Moon? My mother disappeared into the beast's world. I know that she was a terrible person, but she's still my mother. I need to see her again, I to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the one, only one who can go back and forth between worlds. I wonder if we get to explore the beast's world, because that'd be sick. The world of the beasts, huh? 
Is that what that thing was that came to Pony Island? A beast? Tapu Fini and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. Alright, I'll tell you what I know. I hope this is the right voice. I don't remember. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But, it's, uh, but what I know is not much. Just that there's a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the Sun Flute. It seems that my mother had it. Oh, that looks to be the flute that used to reside in the lake at Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on Executor Island. I do not know why there, of all places, but it has been passed down there. Uh, passed down, but that's where it belongs. Executor Island? I think I've heard, of, I've read about it before. It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony, isn't that right? So we go into a different island right now? Yes, and there's no reason to dally here. Let us go speak with the Seafolk Chief. Lily, you take Mudsdale. We proceed to Seafolk Village. And off we go. So I guess we're going to go find Executor Island. This is cool. You reach down, touch the statue. There's no reaction from the statue. Uh, so we have to come back when the, the Tapu finds me worthy. You are not worthy. All right, let's head out. Once again, I'm sorry about that phone call, but it was it was something really important I had to take care of really fast. And I probably won't edit that out just because it was in the middle of a cutscene, so... I'm sorry, my dudes. I'm sorry, but... It is the way it is! Alright, let's fly. Because flying is faster. So there's not a whole lot of Pony Island left. I'm... I just want to get to the Pokemon League. That's what I want to do. I want to go fight Red and Green. I wanna, I wanna go do the battle tree and fight Cynthia, all that good stuff. <clears throat> bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. Thank you, Hapu, and thank you, Mudsdale. Oh, whoops! <laughs> totally mixed their voices. That's what friends do. F friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend. Oh man. Thank you, Hapu. I will not give up, no matter what. To journey to Executor Island, you should speak with the Chief of the Sea Folk. I should, uh, I shall be wishing for your safety. Well, thank you. What about me, though? What about my safety? <laughs> is, is, is she not gonna wish me safety? I guess not. Hey, it's the Pirate Captain or Pirate King. I don't know why I started calling him that. My brother just did, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I think, if I remember right, I think it's because he looks like the old, the Pirate King from One Piece. Like, the fir the one before the show starts, or something like that. I don't know. Where is the... Oh, it's the very bottom. I'm a dingus. I'm an idiot. I'm a stupid idiot. Alright, here we go. <laughs> At least it's not the guy with the Pelipper who totally gave up on him. Did you find... <clears throat> did you find her? Yes. And Hapu was made the new Kahuna. Oh ho! So that's a door to my ears. Or her old grandfather must be smiling down on us now. Yes, uh, Hapu will do her best for her late great uh, grandfather, and I must do my best for my mother's sake and for Nebby's as well. And so, there's a place that we need to go. Executor Island. Oh, Executor Island. Oh, I mean, oh, you mean where the flute is? <clears throat> well, you two did meet the Kahuna already. And Pony's captain ain't around anyway, so I guess there's no point in waiting on any trials. Alright, the SS Magikarp will have you there, and you'll think you're sailing in a dream. The SS Magikarp. I I am so down to ride on the SS Magikarp. Let's go. I mean, it doesn't look like the sturdiest of ships. <laughs> but if it gets the job done, then I am all for it. I wonder if we took the SS Ann out here from Kanto. That'd be cool. Ha! Here we are at Executor Island! I heard that this place used to be a trial site, though that was a long time ago now. <laughs> you go on. Good luck to you both. Okay, he's smiling through his goatee. Do you see that? That's weird. <laughs> maybe he's the trial or maybe he's the trial captain. Let's go find the flute, right? Trainers really can't go anywhere as long as they have their Pokemon, can't they? 
I think I'm beginning to understand the appeal. You gotta catch a Pokemon, Lily. Let me show you how, how it's done. It's still kind of creepy. How his smile goes through his facial hair. Let me see it's like hair on his lips. <laughs> Alright, so we're actually on the um, Executor Island. I think we have enough time to take on Executor Island in today's episode. Um, Even if we don't, I want to do it. So we're going to do it. <clears throat> I feel like trainers can open up the door to any future as long as they have their Pokemon. That's what it looks like to me when I see you, Will, and Hapu and How too. Oh! She gonna be attacked by an Alolan executor. Is she gonna... Is she gonna catch one? Ah! What is that? It's the tree. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. Executor appeared. Can she catch this, please? I mean, we obviously have to go for it. Since we don't have one. Level 40. Frisk. Ooh, it's getting frisky with me. I don't like that. Quick ball, let's go. I, I know it's only nine levels lower than me, but we can we can get in a quick ball, right? One, two, three. Oh yeah! Executor was caught. Let's go. Man, I adjust my hat and my headphones way too much, even when I'm not wearing a hat. At least at level fifty, and we got it. Executor's data will be added to the Pokedex. Oh yeah. Registered. <clears throat> Let me see your dex en uh, entry. As it grew taller and taller, it outgrew its reliance on psychic powers. While within it, awakened the power of a sleeping dragon. That's so ridiculous. I think it's uh, the reason Alolan Executor is a part dragon though is because it was the only other Pokemon I could learn Dragon Rage in Gen 1. Whew. That was an Executor, wasn't it? I think it... I uh, think that the good weather in Alola has let it grow a bit more vigorously than I'd prefer. What was that zooming on her mouth? What the freak? <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, this island doesn't look too big, so we should be good to take this on in today's episode. Or this episode. Because I want to do that. So, And I do like the zoomed in camera. This is cool. So you can like see your character like what what all right um we'll come back here I'll, I'll go hunting for pokemon on my own time i want to get through the story it's starting to rain oh it started to rain i just said that lily <laughs> but my hair is still on point still on point well, i guess hers is too but my hair is more fabulous let's be real <laughs> Rain in Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. Looking out at the rain like this reminds me of this one time when I was little. I'd seen it in a movie. This man singing and dancing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. <laughs> it captivated me so much that I had to try it for myself. There's no way they're referencing this right now. My mother spotted me out in the rain, and she was so shocked that she ran right out after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. <laughs> and then, she smiled, and she danced with me in the rain. Of course, we both ended up catching a cold. She let me sleep in her big bed with her. I was so happy I kept, I kept waking her again, and again, just to be sure it wasn't a dream. But, then she changed. And all she would think about was the Ultra Beasts, and Null, and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much, and I couldn't do anything. But you know what, Will? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and you do something. Every time you've shown me it's possible to do something. Even the first time we met, Nebby was being attacked, and all I could do was look on in horror. And at Aether Paradise, all I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I... Um, Will? What are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? That's an excellent question. Um... Fill my Pokedex, I guess? 
It must be nice, knowing what you want to do. I really admire that. And I think I'd like to become a trainer too. And travel together with you. Yes! Do it! 100%! Just do it. Yesterday you said tomorrow. Don't let your dreams be dreams! <laughs> what a cool moment, though. Like, this... This game... Wow. Ah! <laughs> there's no... There's no rainbow without Rhine, baby! I just thought of that because my I was messing around with my uh, little brother before because he played Xenoblade. This is Xenoblade, and he he hated every single part of the voice acting. And so it's so funny. Maybe there really are good omens sometimes, wouldn't you say? That was a good question, though. Like 100% honestly, like it's like what are you gonna do afterwards? And I'm like, I don't know. IDK. That's still up for determine or for uh, for discussion, but it was still cool. This game story is the best, literally the best. My friend doesn't like this game, and I'm like, "What is wrong with you?" It's Kyle. You guys know who Kyle is. Kyle doesn't like this game, and if he had a Twitter, I would tell you to go over to his Twitter page and like fl flame him for it. <laughs> but oh, snap! And he's Zygarde Cells. That's what I'm mostly checking for right now. Doesn't look like there are any, so... Let's move on! So this is the Moon Flute? And the Sun Altar? I'm so confused. Will! Yes, it is. A flute is placed on a very old pedestal. Will you take the flute? Yes. Now we, now me and Lily can perform duos. At, uh... Cool, uh... Cool places around the world. Now we have both the Sun Flute and the Moon Flute. I don't know if it will really summon the legendary Pokemon, but we can at least try. If nothing else, we'll have sounded the flutes and offering like people used to do. So thank you for coming this far with me, Will. So we're heading back to the ruins now. To go... To play the Song of Storms. Let's... Let's go back to the Chief of the Sea Folk and get back to Pony Island. There's, <laughs> there's no Rhino without Rhine, baby! <laughs> now it's Ryan time. Alright, we gotta wrap up this episode. Look at you, trial goer! You're going to the altar to play the flutes? Ha, the altar lies all the way through the vast Pony Canyon. It's a long road there. The path is like nature's own trial. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop by and tell Hoppy that you're off before you go? Bellabur! Wait, so the... The temple we found, we're not heading there? Then why is that temple there? Who knows, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon, please make sure that you show your support by smashing that like button down below and letting me know in the comment question or in the, in the, in the comments of the video, what are you planning to do after you finish uh, the game? I guess to reiterate Lily's question, what are your plans after you finish the island challenge? <laughs> Let me know because I'm, I'm interested in you guys' responses. Also, if you are a newcomer or just a lurker here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It'll be brought to my channel where you can watch the other 33 episodes of Pokemon Sun and Moon that we have here on the channel, as well as some more Pokemon related content and a Fire Emblem Let's Play, which is kind of in hiatus right now until we finish this game, but we will get back to it um, as soon as we're done. So you can go check that out if you're interested as well. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.